it's very important to always hold it from the top don't hold it down like this no don't hold it like this hey guys welcome back to my channel hope you all are well so in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to care for coily hair this is how the box came so i'm going to open it up and show you guys what the hair looks like and this is the state of the hair so this is what the coils looks like the knots of this hair has been bleached guys look at the knots and as you can see is hd so all i'm going to do is just show you guys how to care for this wig because this wig already comes um, with bleached knots so the only thing you need to do is to wash it okay so that's basically what we are going to be doing in this video so the next thing we have in the box is this comb right here this comb is great for detangling curly hair i'm going to dip this wig inside of this water and i will leave it to sit there for a while so guys when it comes to curly hair it is very important to know that shampoo will dry out your hair so when taking care of your curly hair i would not recommend that you use shampoo to wash your curly hair and if at all you're going to use shampoo to wash it has to be a moisturizing shampoo so is it that you're using a moisturizing conditioner or a nourishing conditioner they are almost the same thing so guys it's been five minutes already i'm going to drain out the water so before applying the moisturizer you want to make sure you really drain out the water from the from the wig like make sure that the wig is not soaked in water so what you want to do is to detangle the tip of the hair first so guys when it comes to coily hair it is very important to detangle from the tip of the hair this is the tip of the hair you gradually detangle from this tip and you work your way to the top just like this because if you don't do that you'll be making a knot on the hair and it will be it will become difficult to detangle that and when you force the hair to detangle it it will make it shed as you can see everything is going smoothly okay guys so now that we've applied the deep conditioner the next thing we want to do is to allow the deep conditioner to sit on the hair allow it to sit on the hair for at least minimum of one hour i usually leave mine to sit for more than one hour sometimes i leave it all through the night because the longer you leave it the better so don't just apply your leave-in leave conditioner and rinse it off immediately no you have to leave it for a while at least minimum of one hour so i'm going to leave it for just an hour but on a normal day i'll leave it for longer than an hour so i'll be back to to rinse it off it's very important to know that hot water will strip out the moisture on the the hair it's like you're using hot water to strip out the moisture that you added with the deep conditioner and that is not right okay so it is very important to use cold water cold water will retain the moisture you just added using the deep conditioner so when washing and rinsing out your hair it is very important to always hold it from the top don't hold it down like this no don't hold it like this always hold the top part of the wig or the bundles always hold the top of it like this so i'm going to rinse it off one more time using the same cold water so i'm squeezing out the water from the hair and i'm going to use a detangling brush again to detangle this hair starting from the tip and working my way to the top it's fake guys just take a look at this wig it's so moisturized look at the tip can you see that the hair is so moisturized and soft 
so now that you've detangled the hair and it's looking nice so the next thing you want to do is to hang the hair like hang it to air dry don't use heat do not use heat heat is what damages your curly hair so do not use heat just allow it to air dry not under the sun but in a cool place allow it to air dry and the next part of this video will be on how to um, style the hair and the products that I'll be using as well. This is what the hair looks like after allowing it to air dry. You can see how beautiful the coils look and they are so soft and lightweight. I love, love, love. At first I thought this hair wasn't full, but after allowing it to air dry, like I can see the volume is just medium, but it's not even completely dry because the back is still very wet so when this part dries there's going to be more volume that's just what i love about this hair this is what the hairline of this wig looks like as you can see it looks plucked already so i'm not going to be plucking this frontal because it's hd and hd lace is very expensive lace in general is very expensive right now so i'm not going to plug this lace because over plucking will cause your lace to bald and you will have to change it in maybe a few weeks or a month or two in order to care for this hair i'll spray some water a bit of leave-in conditioner i'll also be using the Cantu coily mousse for the hairline i'll be using the cara care wax stick and a hot comb so i'm just going to apply a little bit on the hairline She give me bummy heart, say she give me bun me heart. Fine girl, I call me not me heart. Say she bounce bun the thing so whiny for me thing so put the thing upon me thing and whiny for me thing so I say she whiny for me yard. Man, I give it to her one time, say she want it one time, whiny for me yard. Man, so you can see how clean the parts looks. So guys, right now I'm going to spray the water. before washing this hair it wasn't as soft as this that is why you have to always wash your hair once you, once you receive it always wash it that is when you see the real the real texture of the hair if you don't wash it and you just wear it like that you're not going to see the real t uh, texture and the softness and all that and the coil pattern as well so i'm only going to use a little bit of the of the conditioner not too much because i don't want to weigh down this hair just a little bit to keep it moisturized that's how much i'm using because the hair, the hair is not that full, so I don't want to apply too much product that weigh it down. I'm focusing the deep conditioner on the tip of the hair because that is where the dryness starts from. But this hair is very soft. So right now I'm going to apply the coiling mousse. If you are using a spray leave-in conditioner, spray it generously. And if you are using a cream leave-in conditioner, apply just a little so you don't weigh down the coils. And then you apply the mousse to keep the coils popping and defined. The last step I'm going to do is to use the brush to brush the hair. Remember like I said at the beginning of this video while I was washing the hair, that it is important that you detangle the hair starting from the bottom, from the tip and then you gradually walk your way to the top so guys this is the wet state of this hair so once it dries down the coil pattern will return to what it looked like before applying the mousse and the leave-in conditioner and also the density will increase i mean the volume of the hair will increase so guys look at the hairline of this wig you can see it comes pre-plucked and the knot came bleached so this is like a ready to wear wig the only thing you have to do is to wash this hair and style it you can go ahead and plug the hairline if you wish but personally i feel like this is natural looking already 
and like i said in the beginning of this video this hair is from love me hair 